oh my god this is epic epic guys we have ray j coming out giving an exclusive interview to daily mail telling us things we've already suspected about the tape the sex tape that was released about him and kim kardashian guys welcome to the channel if you're new here please subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a new video go ahead and leave your comments your happiness your disdain whatever but thank you guys for showing up and let me it's to me okay it's no coincidence that this is happening right after the black china case in which she lost but at the same time she won you know she won her argument lost the uh, the money portion it's very complicated but she's going to appeal she has all grounds to appeal based on how the jurors answered the question but let's get on to kim kardashian and ray j so ray j has finally come clean about what is going on um with that sex tape so ex he gave an exclusive interview to daily mail stating kim kardashian kept leaked sex tapes in a nike shoe box under her bed Ray J speaks after 14 years in the shadows to reveal second tape does exist, but she has the only copy and accuses the Kardashians of making billions from abusing my name. Now, Ray J has always, we've always, like, we've always thought in the back of our mind, like, this tape seems like it was made, like, staged. It doesn't seem right okay if you watch the original tape well not the original tape but if you watch the tape you would hear her say they're gonna think my breasts are fake they're gonna think this and that and everybody i remember when the tape came out everybody was like who's they this means that she already knew that she, th that this was going to be released that this seems like it was staged in her show she staged it like did you release my tape i know you did you piece of ish you know she basically made everyone believe that she was a victim of raging and i'm gonna do a video on my other channel breaking down all the times that the kardashians have used black people both men and women to get away with salacious activity okay so anyways in a bombshell interview Ray J lays bare the truth about the sex tape with Kim Kardashian that becomes an internet that became an international sensation. I've sat in the shadows, allowing the Kardashians to use my name, abuse my name, make billions of dollars talking about a topic I've never really spoken about. <laughs> and you know what I'm thinking while I'm reading this? Daily Mail. Daily Mail is the one that's doing this exclusive interview which is like everybody has been saying daily mail is being paid off by the kardashians because all they post is positive stuff about kardashians and i think they feel a little like their integrity is on the line so it's very 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 weird that they just came out with this negative press so anyways Let's continue. Kim's former lover revealed she has a second tape of the two of them having sex and she kept it in a Nike shoebox under her bed. Kim has always been in possession of all the sex tapes she's made with Ray J. He has never owned copies of any of them, he said. Ray J said he did not leak any tape and the release was and is a business partnership between him, Kim, and Chris, everybody's been saying that. He made the claim after Kim, Kim, who was 41, claimed on her new Hulu show that she was worried he would leak it. I want to show you guys what he got me. He got me all of the sex tape back. And I have the whole Oh my God. And he flew home and got oh. the 
on a hard drive. And Kim. met up with Ray J at the airport and got it all back for me. Oh, Kim. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I know Kanye did this for me, but he also did this for my kids. I want to shield them from as much as I can. So, oh, huh, he said he was outraged that Kim had claimed that on her show and that he might have a sex tape showing. <laughs> and he, <laughs> how do I say that? And she also said he might have a tape showing him put a object in her famous assets. Okay. While she slept. That makes me sound like an R word, Ray J. 41 said in a text to Ray J Kim admits if you're upset about the the toy comment the toy that's supposed to go in her assets it was clearly a sarcastic joke and I was laughing when I said it girl no you can't make those kind of claims and then say you're you're you were making a joke earnings from the tapes released in 2007 have reached on estimated a hundred million dollars oh Yes. See, it makes people want to sign up, right? Kim claims she didn't want to do it. Ray J says the, the now 41-year-old embraced the idea and enlisted her mother, Kris Jenner, to organize a release via Vivid Entertainment, a process he had little to do with. Man, these Kardashians know how to, like, put these men in some type of you know, spell that they just do whatever they say, or I don't even know. Like, why would you think that's a good idea? Why would you think that was a good idea? He said, it was something we did. He said about the tape. He said it was something we did in Cabo on a trip for her birthday. So we knew that she was away on the tape that we see. She was away at, in Mexico. And he's, and that's, they already planned this clearly. And it was something extra we were doing in a hotel oh yeah this girl remember that this girl claimed that she was high on ecstasy when she did this tape making it seem like he was a bad influence on her boy this the kardashians are going down she kept them all she had to go find the tape and then present it. I never had a tape in my possession in our whole relationship. I've never had a single one at my house. She had them all at her house. She always had all the tapes in a Nike shoe box under her bed. I'm sure she has a bigger bed now and better boxes. That's how it all came about. Once I pitched the idea to her, just playing around. That's when she jumped on the idea, talking to her mom, and it was out of my hands so remember when she was friends with paris hilton and then and then paris hilton had a, a a tape released on her but we all know that that tape was definitely not planned then kim was her friend and then kim goes away goes ahead and you know it looks like she was desperate for fame and all of a sudden kim releases a sex tape it, it made it look like she had planned it because her friend had be, like it skyrocketed Paris Hilton to fame and she saw that as her opportunity and this is making so much sense guys Ray J now regrets his role in releasing the tape after he was publicly blamed for leaking it but has been unable to correct the record due to the contract that he had signed without legal advice oh my god are you serious Ray J you know what he did this behind his mother's back and I think the reason why he could not talk about it because his mother would have beaten his ass had she found out that he staged to release a sex tape and he was included in the deal. So I really think that's what happened. He has said now that the role that she casted him as, which was a villain, has blighted his career and relationships and even left him feeling like he wanted to end his life at one point in his life. Wow. He said, I felt like I wanted to off myself because when you know something's real and it's true and you're watching a whole family create an empire, an empire from a lie that, that they've created, it's heartbreaking and disrespectful to all the entertainers who have been honest and true to their craft 
And as a black man living and working in America, it's hard to get up every day and look out at the water or look at my family and know that they think something about you when you know it's a thousand percent the other way. Ooh, how do you love how do you live like that? I couldn't be a part of any reputable major network television shows and do Dancing with the Stars and do America's Got Talent or anything like that because of my image. Because of what they made me, I am not allowed to be in those places. Oh, wow. For me, I've been walking on eggshells thinking about thinking I'm going to get in trouble for telling the truth. And I've been holding on to it for the past 14 years and watching them humiliate me. They're celebrating my destruction. Oh, wow. He said he has been forced to live a lie and now wants the truth to come out so he can show people, most importantly, his three-year-old daughter, Melody, that he's not a bad guy who exploits and disrespects women. See, he is married to Princess Love, right? And I noticed that he was like, he, he went and trademarked her name, Princess Love. He did a lot of things and I was like, what is wrong with him? Why is he acting like that towards Princess Love? And now I see why. He watched Kim Kardashian capitalize off of his name, his fame, his success. She used him and he's afraid of another woman doing the same to him. And now everyone else is paying for what Kim did to him a long time ago. (sighs) Ray J said, Where in this whole story did Ray J become the person who leaked the tape and who's made their lives miserable? How do you believe that Ray J is the enemy of all enemies when we've been partners from the beginning of the sex tape being released up until now? We are still making money. You guys, this girl was on Hulu, not only using her son with the Roblox crap, to make it look like he almost saw her tape. But then bringing Kanye in it. And honestly, guys, I don't believe that Kanye had any idea. I think he believes that Ray J is a villain just like we all do. I'm sure right now Kanye is like, what the? (sighs) I'm so done. This family is just. Anyways, let's continue. But yet you go with defaming me and blaming me over and over and I can't do nothing but defend my honor and speak out and tell the truth. He found, he said the final straw came when the Kardashians made the tape a storyline on their new Hulu show at one point discussing whether he might have any, any more material, including a moment when Kim said he might have a video showing him doing what we said earlier with her famous assets. His, her estranged husband, Kanye West, is seen boasting about collecting a laptop from Ray J and saying his, his family would no longer be extorted. Ha! Kanye. Ka- <laughs> this girl is playing games. So Kanye is over there thinking that he's helping. She's still, she's still playing him. So he's thinking that he's helping, he's in her good graces, right? Because he felt like him running to New York to get the tape back from Ray J was like a gesture of love because, you know, he thought they were rekindling their marriage. Then she said, he thought that, okay, she invited me to the SNL show. So the SNL show, you know, is supposed to be like, oh my God, thank you so much. Can you come to my thing? And it's like, kind of like, we're rekindling. We're working on our marriage. Only to find out that she was like, she invited you to her boyfriend's show. Oh, (laughs) that he gave her the hookup to basically because she was dating him before SNL. Oh my God, you guys, what the hell is happening Yo, all of these men got played simultaneously. This girl is a player player from the Himalayas. Not to mention her first husband said that she cheated on him on him with numerous men. <laughs> oh my God. What are they doing to these men that's making them go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over them? Girl, teach me what you're doing. Okay, so now we're going to talk about what happened with Kanye. Despite... 
he talks about Kanye too, guys. He says, he handed over the device stuffed with intimate photos and many videos sent to him during their four-year relationship after he heard via Kanye that Kim was worried about what kind of material the laptop might contain. Despite Kanye's claim of extortion, Ray J says he did not ask to be paid, did not receive any money, and was able was and was happy to hand it over to allay Kim's fears. Y'all still trying to protect her? Okay. Instead, he described a four-hour meeting, a four-hour meeting with Kanye at the private terminal of L- LAX where the pair spoke father to father while the Yeezy de- while the Yeezy designer sat on the floor and looked at everything on the laptop which he then took with him when he left Kim later claimed on the show that the laptop just contained a video of Kim and Ray J eating at a restaurant but Ray, Ray J says that is untrue he said it wasn't a sex tape It was a lot of pictures, a lot of little mini videos, and a lot of proof we've been talking over the years since the split. If you send me an email in 2008, the computer doesn't change the date on it. So in in 07, it happened, Kim got in contact. Kanye could see we were talking consistently 07, 08, 09, through her sending me texts and videos and stuff. <gasps> oh my God. And, and and let's not forget, guys, that Kanye was also sleeping with Kim at the time. Kanye, Kanye, you saw all of this and you still wanted to get back with this? Oh my God. What? This, this listen, this, this girl is doing voodoo. Don't, don't even, don't even, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that she is not doing some kind of work. Please. She's putting in some work. So anyways, when he showed him the footage, I was, he said, he said, I was proving to him I've never been the enemy. I've never been the person who they say I am. If that was the case, why are you guys trying to brainstorm coming up with the ideas with me and make me do what you guys say? You want me to continue to act the bad guy and you guys have brainwashed me into thinking that's okay oh my god these people are high key high key manipulators he says the only copies of any tapes that still exist are with kim ray j said she she knows there's nothing else i don't have a tape to leak i've never leaked a tape i don't have plans to ruin them when i put on the comments that all of this is a lie i didn't mean kanye coming to meet me about the second tape i mean all of this is a lie from the beginning of us putting this tape out this has been the biggest lie in the industry in the history of entertainment they're not letting the world know that they're a bunch of s of tapes that we made but they're not going anywhere because she has them all i've never had them to watch or to enjoy oh my god there are some messages so so okay ray j contacted kim after a decade of not speaking speaking and he contacted her when the new sex tape allegations on the Hulu show came out, begging her via Instagram, direct messaging to stop saying he leaked the tape. In the message, it says, Ray J said, I felt like this was her only chance to try to make this right. In the text, I demand her to call me immediately or I'm going to tell my story. So she responds immediately with all of these different plans and ideas that will make me feel better. At the time, at the same time, you're telling the whole world that I'm a horrible person and I haven't spoken to you. And how could I do this to you? If you look at the DMs, you can see that she's continuing to keep try to keep me in a box. Only what she can do to make me feel better after they killed my name. Only because she knows Everything I'm saying is true. She never denied on these DMs anything that I've told her. I asked her on the DMs, how do I explain to my daughter this is a lie? If you're worried about your family, what about my family? If they if they didn't come back and and show how they really 
were, how greedy and slimy they really were, I would never have had the enthusiasm or the will to go out and speak the truth. Now that I'm a father, it kills my soul to think my daughter would have to go through life thinking her dad was something that he wasn't. You can't give me any money. You can't pay me for my life back. You can't pay me for honesty and truth. You can't pay me any money or apologize to me for any of that. You have to be honest with yourself at this point. I don't need an apology. I have proof. I just want my daughter and my son to appreciate that I've done, appreciate what I've done here on earth and know that their dad doesn't go for exploiting women, expecting women and leaking footages of someone who didn't give permission. This has been a burden for me. It's been an embarrassment for me. My family have questioned my integrity and who I am as a person. Up until now, even some of the people I have close to, when I tell them what I'm going through, it's really hard for them to believe with all the things they've they, which is the Kardashians, have done and said about me over the years. I can't live the rest of my life in this lie. This morning, I woke up and said, you know what? For the remainder of my life, I'm going to live my truth and I'm not in the lie that I've created by Kris Jenner. Oh my God. I want to I wanna read you guys the DMs that were sent by, that were sent by Ray J to Kim Kardashian. So he sends a DM saying, why are you playing games, Kim? I've been nothing but a team player. We all had an agreement. Now you are trying to drag my name for your new show, and that is not cool. It's effed up my business and relationships when we sat down with you and your mom. And we planned all of this together. Now you are really, you really are taking this lie to the next level, making me look crazy. I don't want to expose the real ish that we did but you are leaving me no choice Kanye said he saw he Kanye said you wanted the footage and I gave him all the videos and pics and texts from me and you because I was trying to make things okay and all of the video oh, oh trying to make things okay and you make you feel better oh my god are you serious are you all you men are so dumb Oh my God, now I realize this is another promo stunt for you. Unless you reach out to me soon, I'm going to take it to the next level where it shows all of what we did, all of the meetings and convos about the plan, date and times of our meetings, and the whole lie you and Chris planned since the beginning. This is not a threat. You've taken this too far. You know what we did. Your mom controlled the whole deal. It was her idea to put it out. Now you want to make it seem like I'm doing it again without your control. All those fake tears, your fans trusting you to be honest and sincere, but it's all fake for the cameras. I was playing my part until you started doing all of this. Why are you right? Why are you trying to ruin me when you know I was just a player in this? You have to stop believing your own lies. I have to let the world know the real because you've taken it too far now. Somebody needs to explain the play you are doing to me or I will have no choice but to protect my brand and my family and expose the real my god he had a whole bunch of things to say okay and I I'm not gonna read all of that okay she so after he wrote all that at the end he goes it's Ray J if you don't know who this is this is Ray J it's a lot it's a long 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 spiel and I'm not going to go through it because we already basically summarized what his feelings are so she responds and she says hi I'm going to I'm going to read, read in my Kim K voice hi uh, sorry I'm seeing your above DMs now I'm happy to hear that you're doing well he girl he didn't say he was doing well he literally says you're pissing me the hell off <laughs> and congrats on your beautiful family in regards to your last message do you actually did you actually watch the episode yes bitch okay and it said you trying to you trying to paint me as as a person trying to extort you because i didn't say a single bad thing about you oh my god gaslight the show filmed in real time the day in hell that I had with my lawyers when your manager threatened to release another tape that doesn't exist. And my son, who was five years old at the time, seeing an ad with me, cr my cry face emoji that said Kim's new sex tape as clickbait in Roblox. It was upsetting to have to deal with that. 
and I'm having to deal with and I sh- and I'm sure you can understand also how that feels. If you're upset about the 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 toy comment, you know, the the toy, the D I L D O. It was clearly a sarcastic joke. It was not a clearly a sarcastic joke, girlfriend. And I was laughing when I said it. <laughs> My burn them to the ground comment was a generalization to anyone threatening to hold this over my head 20 years later. We are both parents now with young kids and careers, and I'm sure you want to move on from this just like I do. But your manager is the person who brought this all up out of nowhere, and I have a right to share how it affected me. Next week's episode airs where Kanye brings me the computer and he says he got back from you, which shows you in a positive life for giving that to him. Thank you for doing that. He responds, my team is demanding me to respond to what, what's out there now because it gets worse every day. I don't say nothing. Now that we talked, I feel different. I was going to go extreme, but not anymore. How should I respond? Oh my, these men are so, wow. What the hell is she doing to these men? So she probably didn't respond very fast because she was busy doing some kind of ritual and trying to some kind of some kind of witchcraft ritual so that he can like back down. And then he then he goes back into his trance and then he's like, what should I do now? (laughs) I completely understand. And I appreciate hearing this from you. I want you to know that I wish nothing but the best for you. This after she's destroyed his whole name. Okay. This has hurt us both in so many ways. And I know we are aligned in wanting to move forward in our lives and not continue to be defined by doing something that we did 20 years ago. Thank you for reaching out. And my hope is that after next week, when everyone sees that the computer was given back to Kanye, that this story will be dead and done with. just spoke to my team. We will get something out tomorrow morning to clarify that this was a joke and that you would have never done something like that. Hope this helps. And I'm so sorry to hear how this has affected you. It wasn't my intention. Wow. What a, what a manipulative bitch. Anyways, guys, I mean, this girl has had what work is she doing? Who, who, she is. All of these men are playing boo boo the fool for this girl. She must got, she got them under wraps. All of them were fighting and vying for her attention. All of them were trying to make her happy. Every last one of them, including Pete, who no one knew was her boyfriend. Oh my God. Pete, (laughs) your heart's going to be broken. She's talking to somebody else, please. Anyways, guys, (laughs) you guys tell me how you feel below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And click the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much. Uh, And you know, you know what I want you to do. Have an amazing day and stay blessed. Peace.